Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. Welcome to 30 minutes of my day. Happy Wednesday. I haven't been around for a while. I mean, I've been here and I've been working, but I've had a few things that I had to get done. Um, I actually had to go and get a COVID test uh, yesterday. I'm fine. I just, uh, I decided I want to go in and visit my mom. Um, and we can do it. It's just, there's a lot of hoops to jump through. And quite frankly, I don't even, I'm not even convinced she'll know it's me. Um, but at least I'll get to see her and sort of evaluate, you know, how I'm feeling about how she is and, and if possible, make some more suggestions to the staff um, to help her. She's, she's having a hard time eating now. And uh, so I just want to, I want to have a look over and um, I've been avoiding doing it simply because we have a, she and I have a much better visit um, over FaceTime. She knows who I am. We have a nice chat. It's very pleasant. Um, and it just means that there's one less person bringing germs into her, possibly bringing germs into her nursing home. And I think it makes it easier for the staff the simpler we can keep things for them. And trust me, these people are angels. <laughs> and any way that I can make their job easier, I'm, I'm prepared to do it. And I, I, know, I know she's happy. I'm just concerned um, about weight loss and, and eating and, and that sort of thing. So, um, so yeah, I went and got a, I went and got a COVID test and uh, hopefully I should hear back soon possibly even as early as uh, tomorrow. So then I can go in any time after that. And I think it's good for, I think it's good for a week. So I could go in a few times and then decide whether I still want to keep doing it or whether we're okay to just go back to FaceTiming for the time being. She's had her one shot, so that's good. Um, next one in 28 days. Um, so I'm still working on, um, the peerless reciter here. I've cleaned it up as best I can. I used a soft eraser for any grime that I could literally feel. Um, as you may have seen on Instagram, I, uh, gave her a clean down with some vodka as best I could. I mean, this book is 127 years old. So, um, I think, I think this is as, as good as she's going to get. And personally, I think she's lovely. So I am, um, I'm working on her spine here. Here's her liner for her new spine because it's pretty, pretty worn out. I'm going to use this fabric. I think that's my best bet. I looked over a few fabrics that I had here. I think I would have liked this one. If the background had been sort of a darker gray, um, I, and I just love this this William Morris pattern, anyways, <laughs> but I think it's too distracting. This one seems to be um, it's sort of in the shades. There's there's grays and pale blues like here, so I think that's my best bet. And as I said, I don't mind if this ends up looking a little shabby chic. I don't want to cover up much of this. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to do my best to actually keep it clear of uh, any embellishing I could possibly do. It would be like gilding the lily. It's already so beautiful. So I simply want to make this spine strong again. So, um, so what I'm going to do here is... Um, I'm going to completely line, uh, cover this new curved spine that I made using my usual way with my old rolling pin and, uh, pantyhose and all that sort of stuff. So what I plan on doing is, um, <clears throat> and I've done this before with some other, uh, really fragile, frail books. I'm only looking to strengthen this book. Um, I am not looking to restore it. So these, uh, the hinges and joints are just 
they're very frail and um, they're not as bad I've had worse ones everybody's cyclopedia was worse than this uh, but this one's pretty bad <laughs> she her shoulders are, are pretty sad but I am going to um, so that's my thinking as far as um, completely covering the um, the spine, the curved spine. Normally, if she was still in really good condition, I would put the spine in first, like that, and tuck it in. And then I would put probably just some very light gauze over it, muslin or, or some um, really good quality cheesecloth. Um, imagine that that's what this is and I would do it like this but I'm I'm looking at within the next few years this fabrics really starting to try and wear away so that way by putting in this fabric I wish it wasn't quite so thick I think this was upholstery fabric I, I got it thrifting so I think it was upholstery fabric but you know what in a way that makes it nice and strong and these the covers will be on for a good long while it'll be very nice and strong so this will get glued in like this with this and then I'm going to curve this up and uh, and just simply glue it right in like that and uh, this will come over and it should be it should be good to go that's the plan let's see so I want to put down uh, some wax paper you know what I should set my timer I should set my timer because <laughs> you know me by now uh, hold on, I'm going to pause and set my timer. All right, so now I do think this is not doing any good. And I think I'm going to take it off. I think I'm going to um, remove it. Like that. Because it's going to get a whole new bottom. Now this one I may glue down. It's it's not as bad because it's the head of the spine. And I think I will leave that and just glue it together. And then continue to put the fabric in. So I think that's what I will do. You're hearing me say I think a lot because <laughs> um, I'm just figuring this out as I go. So if there are any professional uh, book restorers here, you may want to move along because this is probably going to make you want to throw your laptop or your phone across the room. <laughs> what I plan on doing here. That's okay. So I'm just going to glue these together. It's a cold day outside and I, I'm listening to a neighbor's dog out there and I'm only going to put up with that for so long um, before I look into making some phone calls. Now, let's... So, in fact, I think I'm going to go take a peek right now. Hold on. Okay. All right. So, um, this bottle's driving me crazy. It's it's so empty. I'm actually. Uh, oh, doggy's fine. So, um, I'm going to go get another bottle. So I'm going to pause you again. <laughs> okay, we're good. Um, three and one. Walmart had them on sale, so uh, that's what I'm using. Now I am going to start with the center and work my way out. 
really thin. I just want it thin. I don't want it to horribly bleed right through. Let's cross our fingers. Now I'm going to use my new spatula I ordered. Um, Thanks to Roxy Creations sharing it. Um, gosh, it's it's fantastic. It's a silicone makeup brush. Now I'm going to mostly just approximately center this. There we go. And put it right in there. Now I still need more because I, I need to do this and then over onto the other side and do the other side. So this is a little bit to the um, experiment, like I said. But hopefully we'll have nice strong hinges and joints afterwards. Now, I actually want to use this. Oh, and I apologize, all the hangnails the paper catches on it and before I know it I'm thinking where's that blood coming from <laughs> oh, winter such a joy all right just want to take a peek So hopefully this works, otherwise I will be ripping it apart and I won't get to use that spine. I'll have to create a create a whole new spine, but I, I'll be able to use the covers. It's okay. It's okay. Now let's see this part. There we go. Yeah. See, here's where, sorry, I can't bring it closer. We are getting rips and tears. So I really want it um, well applied there. And hence the reason why I am putting a whole new fabric in behind for this uh, for this baby
Now this, um, it really is quite an amazing thing. This uh, silicone makeup brush. All that gucky glue on there, when it dries, you just peel it off. And uh, your makeup spatula is as good as new. I think I could still use my... I'd been using my kitchen spatula, a silicone kitchen spatula. Um, but I'm hoping that if I needed to, I could use this small one. It came in a kit. There's like five of them. Amazon, it was like $8. Now I want to oh, see the other side. Yes, this is where I want to. Now, has that got anything on it? No. All right. So this is where that fabric is splitting. And I want to make sure that it is glued right down and happy. Now the fabric may show through, but then again, it may eventually start showing through anyways, just from use and wear and tear. I expect that uh, will probably happen. Now I may still find a way to maybe run a tiny little bit of lace down there. I have some really, really thin lace. Um, look how tiny that is. Isn't that cute? And I don't know. I'm going to wait and see, but it could very well go right down there. And not only would it give it a little bit more strength, but it's cute and it might shabby chic it up a bit and it doesn't cover the uh, that beautiful smile. So that's good. Hmm. Now you stay down. It's been trying to curl up for 127 years. <laughs> so, there we go. Is that well applied? It is. Okay. Now, I want to put a little bit of glue and pat these down. So I'm just going to use, uh, let's try it out with one of these and just uh, apply some glue to it and encourage it to go down and hopefully stay down. I still have plans for the base of this that won't cover up the cover. Um, I'm hoping to actually make use of a pretty doily that I have and put just a little bit of doily here and a little bit of doily here. Um, so far that's the plan. All right, happy. Now, this, this next part is where I'm going to glue this in, and then this is coming up like this. Like that. Um, so I have plans. I want this to actually come up a little bit like that. 
so that when I put the end papers in, this will just sort of blend in under rather than having a raw edge show. So that's the plan. All right, so this needs, I think I'm going to need my rolling pin. Oh, I wonder if I can just reuse the book. Yes, this will work better. I'm going to, um, I'm planning ahead for when this is um, damp and freshly formed. I'm going to put this back in and use that already nice shape. This is the original text block. And I'll just make use of it to hold the new shape in place. All right, how am I for time? I'm okay. Okay, excellent. So let's... Get this glued. I'm going to stand up. Hopefully my elbows don't get in the way of you seeing. Now the spine is not as long as the cover because I want the ends to still be a little floppy the way they are with a book normally. Okay, yep, yeah, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is put this in and close it up. There we go. There we go. Now these, this, and this, they will be folded in. Hold on. Uh, eventually. So, um, so don't worry that that's what they're going to look like. Although I think if I frayed that, that might look quite cool, but I'm not going to. Now I want this to have a good time to dry. So I actually think, I think it's a rip off today. I don't think it's 30 minutes of my day. <laughs> I think you're gonna get like 24 minutes of my day. I apologize, but um, I may go over and start sorting through papers and picking out papers while uh, I let this have a couple hours. Um, and maybe I'll turn it back on again when I do this flip over part. Okay, well, you know what? It's still, uh, it's a good morning. It's sunny. Um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, and we will talk soon. Bye.